what is up? It's your girl Simone Charisse here. Welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, it's not gonna be a hit tutorial. It's not gonna be a tutorial, period. But I kind of wanted to come to you guys and talk to you guys. I just want to be more in touch and find out what you guys are looking for. At this point in time, I feel like it's so weird as far as like influencing. TikTok is taking over the world. Everyone is a TikTok star. Follow me on TikTok though. <laughs> I know for me, even though I'm an influencer, I am looking at other influencer stuff. Like just to get away from what's going on as far as like always seeing the news, the amount of deaths, which is so unfortunate, or people just having the virus period. My main question to you guys would be what kind of content do you guys want to see? And the reason why I'm saying that is because I'm seeing a lot of bloggers are coming up with ideas on how to serve their audience. And most of their ideas are pertaining to the quarantine. Outfit ideas like what do I wear at home while quarantined or my beauty look while quarantined, a day of my life while quarantined, or what I eat today while quarantined. And so I feel like one, <laughs> these are great ideas make perfect sense because at this point in time no one expected to be stuck in the house until April freaking 30th the titles the topics they make so much sense because you know we're in this for right now I was wondering would my audience like that would you guys like that you know I have been spending my time doing these amazing hair tutorials or just trying to find new techniques or practice on techniques that I wasn't able to get right in the first place so I'm using this time right now to pretty much perfect my craft but I still want to make content besides hair videos okay I've also limited the amount of wigs that I am accepting because again the whole COVID stuff having to disinfect everything the minute I get it it's just becoming as far as like the wigs and stuff is a hassle because usually I take the wig straight out the box and put it on my head and now I'm not doing that I have to wash it and da 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 I am totally down and open to doing a whole bunch of different type of content and I also feel like this is like a blessing in disguise for me because you guys know I have been asked I have been trying to figure out a way to kind of step out of the hair shell okay I love doing hair but sometimes I need a break and I've been wanting to kind of pretty much um do tutorials as well as doing vlogs as well as doing baking and get amount of the same amount of views on all videos as I do hair videos but it's been a challenge it always is a challenge but at this point in time I kind of don't care I kind of just want to do whatever is fun still get my views because <laughs> money matters but I still just want to have fun with it. like I mentioned in the beginning I have been watching other influencers content and I'm not gonna lie they'd be so interesting and the funny thing is they don't be anything about beauty or hair so that makes me wonder like do you are you guys wanting a little bit of a quarantine style because <laughs> if that's the case and I can do that because I'm not gonna lie I, I can adjust to the times and what's going on right now also, the last try and haul I did was last month, and that was because I had bought clothes before we went into quarantine. Now, I don't know about y'all guys, I'm not spending money. I don't want to spend money. I just want to save my money. We don't know where this economy is going to go. People are filing for unemployment. It's very scary. I'm not going to sit here and act like I got a million dollars. So, to be honest, my spending limit has only been on groceries, okay? Savings, groceries, and bills. That is it. <laughs> I'm like, I am not trying to spend all my money on just foolishness because we just don't know where this is gonna go. With that being said, I wanted to share with you guys some content videos, ideas that I have. Uh, whatever you guys are down for and want me to do, let me know down below because again, my creativity juices be juicing. Baking, you guys know I love to bake. However, I have no one to eat this stuff. So a lot of the times, it's just me eating one slice. It either going to waste or me trying to figure out where to put it. If I keep making cakes, I'm gonna be a freaking whale when this is over. Um, but I like baking. I got a whole bunch of new baking tools. So I'm down to use that. Let me know if you guys want to see any of that and what you guys would want me to do besides cakes. Obviously, I'm gonna do hair videos, but hair videos, that's my main part of my content. So I really do enjoy doing hair sometimes. Do I enjoy doing wigs all the time? No. But for the most part, I do enjoy doing hair. So I might just be doing other styles besides just wigs. So I have a bunch of bundles that I can sit here and just create stuff and be creative with so um i was thinking about vlogging um i have been so interested in seeing like what people are doing during their quarantine <laughs> during their quarantine that i'm wondering if you guys are curious to know what i'm doing during my quarantine because to be honest sometimes i have fun days and sometimes i have boring days i have some days where i am so stressed so depressed so flustered so just feeling like oh my god i don't want to do anything however i have deadlines and i still have to do stuff but there are some days where i don't want to do shit 
And to be honest, when I have things like that, I just don't do shit. <laughs> At this point in time, I don't feel like anyone should be pressuring themselves. If you're pressuring yourself, you should not because there's so much going on. And to add pressure to yourself, what's going on, what you think you should be doing, it's just going to make things worse. Now, when I'm on Instagram, everyone's like, if you don't find a little day job or a side hustle or whatever, then you are not disciplined. And I'm like, great, now I'm guilty because I'm not disciplined or whatever. Don't let that stuff get to you. Just block out all that crap because, to be honest, it had me feeling like I'm merciless <laughs> on the days that I don't do anything. But to be honest, just chill. However, when I do see myself doing nothing for so long, I'm like, okay, let's get up out of that mood because... I do feel like if I vlog for you guys, maybe like twice or three times a week and show you guys what I'm doing, I do actually feel like it will like force me to kind of get up out of my, my, get up out of my feelings. Also, I was thinking about creating outfit ideas with items that I already have or items and kind of just revamping them, restyling them organizational videos my closet is a hot mess right now so that's also an idea um, cleaning videos sometimes my place does get messy because something about cleaning my house every day while we've been on like quarantine has been driving me nuts it's literally like a hamster being on the wheel it's like clean 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 dirty clean 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 dirty clean 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 mess up the bed it's like every couple of days I need to clean because then I feel like I'm being like stuffed but yeah I can't clean every day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that real. Maybe tech videos. If you guys want to know how to edit, maybe this would be the time for you to probably learn how to edit if you've been wanting to for a while. I feel so, 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 so bad for the people that have lost their jobs and are just really feeling the, f like, you know, really feeling. Whew, I feel so bad, honestly. Like, I have friends that have actually been laid off and I feel so bad because, again, this is scary. This could happen to anybody. However, if you are wanting something to do as far as a hobby and editing maybe something that was on your list but you never had time to maybe you could use this time if you're interested to learn how to edit um which in that case i could show you how i edit my instagram videos how i um edit my youtube videos i know i was saying that i was gonna do it a long time ago but maybe this might be the time that i actually do it and then lastly i was thinking that i could also do live videos i know everyone is going live on instagram boosie and tory lanes i don't mind going live on youtube <laughs> on instagram it's intimidating actually i don't like going live at all to be honest it's like being put on a stage and improvising it's actually uh it, it, i get nervous sometimes but being on live makes me so nervous because it's just like, I don't know what to say. I'm just like, <laughs> if I go on live, um, rather than me just talking and blabbing about nothing, I'm wondering if I could just like do my hair on live, maybe do my makeup on live, maybe do nothing on live. <laughs> um, this option. So, but for the most part, I really wanted to do this video because I feel like I do ask about it on Instagram, but it's different when somebody's actually making, like talking about like, you know, whatever so um i do want to do a few more sit down videos i know people keep seeing this through story times but i'm like i don't really all my story times would be dating wise and i'm like if i sit here and talk about my dating life you guys are gonna be like bitch you bored i just want to do videos you know and sometimes when i do hair tutorials it just takes too long to edit like this right now it's thursday and i'm about to edit this right now and it's gonna go straight up when i do tutorials it takes so long and i'm just like but so thank you guys for watching this video. Um, l l listen, be vocal down below. Let me know what you guys are looking for and we'll go from there.